decoding the biggest political development of the day. And today, a top story comes from the Union Territory of Jammu and Kashmir. We will be telling you what's happening, who is to be blamed to what is happening to the minorities and because of the targeted killings. But before that, the headlines. Kashmiri pundits threat for uh, threaten to migrate out of Kashmir Valley into Jammu. This as within 48 hours, second case of targeted killing in the Kashmir Valley has been reported. Fearing cross voting ahead of the voting for Rajya Sabha seats, the Congress party has now decided to shift its MLAs from both Haryana and Rajasthan to a plush hotel in Udaipur. In a massive setback to the Bhagwant Man government in Punjab, the Punjab and Haryana High Court have now restored the security cover of 424 people which was earlier removed by the state government. And as they say, everything is for everything is fair in love and war and politics. Hardik Patel, once an arch rival, today has joined the BJP in the state of Gujarat in the presence of BJP state president C R Patil. In an interesting twist, Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has now alleged that he has learned from his sources that the next target for the investigating agencies from the Aam Aadmi Party is going to be Delhi Deputy Chief Minister Manish Sisodia. Viewers, even as we speak right now, the tensions are only escalating across the Union territory of Jammu and Kashmir. Within a span of 48 hours, second targeted killing has been reported where a bank employee was gunned down in broad daylight. The CCTV visuals are nothing but shocking and can send chills down anyone's spine. Today, when we talk about Rahul Bhatt, whether we talk about Amreem Dhat, whether we talk about Rashni Bala, all these names are going to be edged in the memories of everyone who today is fighting and contesting the fact that they are unsafe in Kashmir Valley. As we speak, many of the Kashmiri Pandit community members have already said that their deadline that they had given to the central government and to the Jammu and Kashmir administration of providing them or relocating them to safer locations hasn't been done. This despite the fact the central government had already initiated a move to move all the Kashmiri Pandits and the Hindu community to safer locations by the 6th of June. But now, look at those images right now. People packing their bags, trying to leave from their homes. This even as the local police has now tried to barricade them, lock them inside their own colonies, inside their own houses. So today, viewers, we will be asking who really is responsible. Is the central government responsible or is the National Conference and the PDP to political parties who have actually promoted some extremism, separatism in the, state, in the state of Jammu and Kashmir when it was a state which has led to such a scenario where terrorism is only at its peak in the Kashmir Valley and its targeted killings that have now shocked the entire nation. Let's start off by listening into the political reactions coming in. Indian Army, Jammu Kashmir Police, and our brave Jawans of our paramilitary forces have neutralized the top commanders of Pakistani-based terrorist outfits, top commanders of terrorist outfits have already been neutralized. Hindus minorities are also being killed. Who is responsible for this? Narendra Modi is responsible for this work. Who is responsible for this work? 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 Who is not your job? Let me welcome our panelists for joining me this evening. We have Sunil Seh, spokesperson of the BJP in Jammu and Kashmir, Samir Bhatt, leader of the National Conference, Rakesh Handu, Kashmiri activist and Sajid Yusuf Shah, CEO of the Real Kashmir News, also on the broadcast with us. Mr. Rakesh Handu, I want to start with you. The sentiments are um, are very, very sensitive right now. So we will try and have utmost caution when we are having this discussion today. But while the administration has said that we are going to be relocating the Kashmiri Pandit community to safer locations, why are we seeing these visuals of people packing their bags, picking up their cylinders and willing to move out of Kashmir Valley despite having nowhere to go uh, madam if you can if you uh, you must have seen the video which has uh, gone viral 
when the bank manager was short, the person comes inside the bank, he just does the recce. After that, he comes again and uh, ploy, uh, on point blank, he fires two rounds. You see the video, I just want to ask, in every part of the country, wherever there is a bank, a security man with a gun is standing outside. Secondly, where was the local staff? Same was the case with Rahul Bhatt when he was sitting inside the Tasil office. He was, where was the staff? He was also killed. Five bullets were fired on him. What guarantee government of uh, Jammu Kashmir or government of India is giving them? 18 days, my PM package employs my brother, sister, son on roads. They have been put on cages. And yesterday, there is an order. They will be shifted to a district headquarters. That means they 70, 80, 90 percent people are staying in rented accommodations. There are hardly two or three transit camps where they can provide them security. That too, when they are at home, they have to walk on the streets. What guarantee is there when a bank manager is shot? When a school teacher was shot outside a school, what guarantee government of India can give them? Now they have put in cages, and most of the people have already started packing up. They have been locked inside the houses. They have been beaten to bushes. Now they are standing on airports. I just got a message from one of the activists who is also uh, an employee that uh, they are not being uh, allowed to board the flights at the airport. This is the chaos. This is the mess. And who is responsible today? It is the BJ local administration. It is BJP government. Yesterday, our community decided because 7th or 8th of uh, June, we have a big uh, Kheer Bhavani Mela at uh, our famous temple. Uh, that, that that was there was some you know messages circulating that uh, they are uh, organizing some uh, mela. Yesterday, some community uh, organizations decided in support of you know PM package employees who are on roads. And secondly, due to the security fear, uh, they, uh, these programs have Mr. been cancelled. Mr. Rakesh, I'm requesting you to stay with me, my colleague Yavar Shafi is also joining us live on the broadcast. Uh, Yavar, what is the situation on ground right now? Earlier today, we saw a lot of images of people packing their bags. There was a lot of speculation that people are moving to the Srinagar airport, but we have got a clarification from the airport authorities and the airport officials now. But where does the situation stand as of now? Well, exactly, Aditi, let's get to this first. First of all, uh, there was a chaos uh, among the you know, minorities in the Kashmir Valley. Somehow, it was down to the fact. But yes, today's killing uh, has uh, already added fuel to the fire. Now, remember that uh, there was a chaos uh, among the, uh, the this community already following the killing of Rahul first. And after that, the, the JNK administration, they assured them that they will be providing government accommodation with the highest security. However, the you know, sources in the Kashmir Pandit uh, told me that they are not going to accept it. They, are, they have denied this proposal by the government. Uh, they just need either to be relocated or they are going for the mass uh, you know, migration. So somehow we saw um, in the Matan area, that's in the South Kashmir Pandit, that was the dominance of uh, the Kashmir Pandit all across. We saw there is a cure, they are packing their bags, they are taking their cylinders and essential commodities, uh, just want to leave the Kashmir as soon as possible. And there's a statement from uh, the you know minorities, Frank, in fact, the Kashmir minorities, Frank, uh, that uh, they ask uh, their, uh, you know, uh, they employ uh, the Kashmiri pundits to assemble at uh, one particular spot today, uh, tomorrow, in fact, and uh, they will leave for the Jammu from there. So the mass uh, migration program has already been set up. So uh, the Kashmiri pundits have already said that they're not going to uh, take the safer decisions from the government, but yes, they need just a relocation. Uh, this uh, okay. already comes up uh, when uh, there was a few uh, all across, and uh, yes, you rightly pointed out that there's a messy in the Srinagar airport, but the Srinagar airport authority, in fact, came up with a statement that uh, this is because of a huge rush, there's already a huge rush of and flocks of the tourists and other passengers uh, at the airport. Is that it has nothing to do with the you know, chaos that is going on among the minorities. So, yes, as of now, uh, the chaos, the tension is still escalating, the government is trying to level that should specify them. Now, remember that uh, the fresh okay. thing came in a light. When tomorrow there is a high level meeting. Absolutely. Uh, tomorrow, and, and it's also very interesting that we also highlight that a meeting between the National Security Advisor, Home Minister Amit Shah, and the Raw Chief just concluded a short while back in the national capital. This also comes in the wake of what is happening in Jammu and Kashmir and ahead of the big security review meeting that has been called in the national capital tomorrow by Home Minister Amit Shah. Yeah.
Yavar Shafi is keeping a very close eye on behalf of India Ahead on all those developments. Thank you very much, Yavar, for joining us and getting us the updates. But Mr. Sunil Sethi, I want to ask you, who is to be blamed? While, I'm, uh, while political parties in the opposition ranks are blaming the BJP, but today when the agitating Kashmiri pundits come out and say that we don't even have the faith in the BJP or the central government anymore, doesn't the BJP also become answerable to the people today? No, we are all concerned with what is, what is happening in Kashmir. The targeted killing is a cause of concern for us also. But we have to fight it out. We cannot run away. And uh, whenever there is an encounter taking place, a, a, a important uh, uh, person from the militants rank is being killed, why National Conference and PDP and other parties are going to their houses and, uh, and uh, shedding their trees, uh, tears on that? They have to understand that this is a fight of the nation against militancy. You have to stand with the nation. It is not a, a question of uh, doing the politics. Politics will be apart from it. We have to stand together till the time the militants, they are getting the support from these political leaders or, or the overground workers. The problem will always remain there. See, I'm not justifying anything. The targeted killing is a really cause of concern for us also. It is now the time to take more harsh, hard decisions. It is a time to take hard decisions. We have to break the militancy once for all. And there is no question of now running away. We, we can't just go away from this situation. We have to win this. This nation has to remain one. Yusuf Shah, you know, we were discussing this yesterday also, and it's also very unfortunate today that we are together on the same platform to discuss this again. But Sajid, you know, yesterday also we were talking about there are political ramifications for what is happening in Jammu and Kashmir today. Uh, while it is very easy for the Congress party, Mehbooba Mufti, Omar Abdullah, to put the entire onus on the BJP, but it is a fact that uh, terrorism was breeding in Jammu and Kashmir. There was an attempt by abrogation of Article 370 that somewhere normalcy could be restored. People People could be brought at the same platform as the rest of the country. There could be some assurity or assurance that could be given to the Kashmiri Pandit community. But today it looks like all those moves are failing as today the agitating community members don't have faith in any political party, whether it is the opposition or whether it is the ruling government here at the center. See, it's easy uh, to question uh, government, uh, security agencies, intelligence agencies, and JK police, especially when uh, these killings are happening in the Kashmir Valley. So, what actually has changed uh, from the uh, from abrogation of Article 370? Uh, we uh, let me tell you one thing that it was easy uh, for any security agencies that this is a list of 200 terrorists which we have to target. But unfortunately, what happened uh, all of a sudden that these uh, so-called jihadis they have changed their strategy. What they are doing, they have. They, uh, they, what they are doing right now, they are not holding AK-47. They are uh, hold, holding uh, short weapons, uh, these pistols, and silencer guns, and that's the most worrious part uh, from for the security agencies. And one more thing is, is that that it was easy to identify attacks with a long beard, long hair. Nowadays, a, co a common Kashmiri like me, who is uh, who, who is wearing the coat, pant, and tie, and just throwing grenade on the security force and then uh, going back to his place. And these are the things which are just uh, just uh, troubling the security agencies right now. How many Kashmiris they have to arrest them? Because it's not uh, right now. It's not uh, uh, Pakistan. Who should we blame right now? Because it's our own Kashmiris who are doing these things. I was going through the visuals when uh, our uh, this banker uh, brother, he was killed by the terrorists. I was going through the visuals. It was a Kashmiri. I can easily identify him that he was no, no Pakistan. He was a Kashmiri who was who just uh, shot two bullets on his chest and ran away. It's the we Kashmiris who have to blame ourselves because as a community, we are giving shelter to these so-called jihadis, so-called terrorists. We are giving them shelter in our homes. Then we put blame on the security agencies and BCP government that they are doing nothing. It's the we people who have to blame ourselves. We should not repeat. We should not let anybody to repeat 90s, we should, and um, uh, long back, we I used to play. I completely agree Jagmohan with you, Sajid Shah, long, when you long. say that we cannot go back in the 90s. Kashmir and Jammu and Kashmir as a union territory or as a former state has come a long, long way from there. And uh, we, we can't be in a situation where we throw the entire union territory back to where it was in the 90s. Uh, Samir Bhatt, I want to bring you in today. You know, I also don't understand what the National Conference and the PDP is really trying to gain out here. Today, suddenly, both these political parties are coming out and saying that our heart bleeds for 
for the Kashmiri Pandits. But your alliance was the very same alliance who didn't wait even for five minutes after the conviction of people like Yasin Malik to say that uh, what happened to him was unfair. While Yasin Malik was also one of the key faces as to why and the kind of misery that the Kashmiri Pandit community had to face in Jammu and Kashmir today. So for politics, are we saying that uh, today suddenly everything has changed for National Conference and the PDP? Uh, well, Aditi, uh, this is not the time we should blame what uh, before Yasin Malik uh, regarding the PDP and then what National Conference done. This is the time we should collectively say it is a very high time for the nation. Every fortnight, there is almost every killing. Killing, why, why, why BJP is the center? He's heading. Everything is in clear control. And they are not able to control this kind of situation. What can you control can do this time? We are in a clear psychosis. Else, what else we can do that? It is a very, very, very high time, high time, high time for those people who again blame on the uh, regional parties. Regional parties for nothing this time. It's not a matter of only PDP and NC. It's a mainstream party. We are not against those, uh, these, uh, we are against these kings. हम चाहते हैं कि यहाँ पे बदलाव आ जाए जाहिर साहब का जो कहना है जाहिर इज करिंग की वी कश्मीरी आर थ्रोइंग द ग्रेनेड वो आर दोज कश्मीरी वो आर दोज पीपल वो आर क्रिएटिंग दोज पीपल दैट इज द मेन क्वेश्चन एंड आई वॉन्ट टू आंसर द क्वेश्चन बीजेपी स्पोक्स पर्सन इफ दे वॉन्ट टू कंट्रोल द सिचुएशन वट हैज द प्लानिंग वट इज द सिस्टम दे वॉन्ट टू कंट्रोल ऑल दीज थिंग्स Okay, so so Mr. Sunil Sethi, so the national conference today is again now saying, and at a time when probably all political parties should be voicing the same opinion and you know voicing their opinion against terrorism, trying their level best to maintain peace and harmony and to convince the Kashmiri Pandit community that we are here for you for your safety. This is what the politics in Jammu and Kashmir is all about today. See, we are concerned about the killings in Kashmir. In Kashmir, the persons who are being killed are being targeted. It is either Kashmiri Pandit community or the persons from coming from outside Jammu and Kashmir who's being targeted. The person from Jammu who's going and serving in Kashmir, which is being targeted. This is all a ploy. So you please understand why Yasin Malik has been convicted now. Don't we know that who were the persons who were funding the terrorism? These were the persons who were funding the terrorism. He has accepted it. It is his confession. He, he accepted that in the court. The other political leaders are also funding the militancy. Whether it is, it is tactical funding or financial funding, we have to break this nexus. We have to work together. And so far as the government is concerned, I, I expect that there is a meeting which is going to take place today. The Home Minister will be taking the meeting tomorrow. We hope to, uh, to uh, really hear some strong response, the, the measures which is to be taken, how to, how to finish this militancy. Shano, let me bring you in again because, uh, you know, now that uh, we have seen that the Kashmiri Pandit community has said that we want security from the administration because now we are willing to take the road route also to come out to Jammu. But, you know, taking from where uh, Mr. Sajid Yusuf Shah also said, doesn't this mean that we are throwing back Jammu and Kashmir back to the 90s? It has been a long, hardened struggle for the entire state and now the Union Territory to come to where it is in 2022. Doesn't it push, it, push us back to almost two decades back? Uh, let me answer you, ma'am. Hmm. This is answer to both of them. Hmm. It was in 1990, we were put in the same condition, so we had to save our lives, and we left everything behind, our orchards, our houses, you know, we got, uh, you know, uprooted from the uh, place where we have 5,000 years of history. Now tell me, ask them, are Kashmiri Pandas scapegoats? Are they rats that you will test everything on Kashmiri Pandas? I'll give you one example. When there were local body elections in Kashmir, and local people, because of the fear of gun, they objected to it. They said, we will not participate in the election. They took a lot of Kashmiri Pandas from Delhi and other parts of uh, you know, the India. They are com municipal councillors there, used by BJP. Most of them are from BJP. Ex-militants who are you know, corporate today, they are from BJP. Can Mr. Sunil Sethi give answer to this? And third, tell me from 19 days, my people are on roads. How many local people came in their support? How many people came in front and said, there are our brothers and sisters, we won't allow them to leave. 
you let let them give answer mr yas what whoever is from kashmir and mr uh, uh, sunil sethi let them give answer to my uh, two questions who is responsible today yesterday when i again repeat when we you know decided as a community it was a community decision that we will not participate in uh, mela khir bhawani one of their ex mlc mlcs came and he is talking about uh, pony walas he is talking about flower walas he is talking about economy he, he that is kashmiri pandit you know they are to get killed for running their government and showing that uh, you know travel tourism and terrorism can go together today hotels are booked they are showing on national channels they are sitting on big debates this is what you know th after th article 37 what has changed you won't get rooms in the hotels why those people are not being targeted this is my question why all is selective killing of kashmiri hindus or uh, maybe people working there uh, as a bank employee can they answer me okay mr sunil said do you want to come in to what uh, mr rakesh handu is saying he what i i request my friend uh, mr handu that let us not divide the victims on the basis of their community or the religion if a kashmiri pandit is being killed the person from jammu is also being killed the person from outside jammu and kashmir is also being killed we are all brothers and sisters we are all indians and what is being killed there is indianness it is basically an effort to threaten the the whole system we have to stand stand together we cannot divide ourselves in small segments i am more concerned about what is happening in kashmir i am more concerned about what is happening to kashmiri pandit community i am with them when they ask that they should be given the secure places to stay there because unless we ensure the security to them we cannot expect them to work in kashmir that i understand we are with them it is not that we are oblivious to what is happening there we are standing with the kashmiri pandit community we are standing also with the other communities we uh, who are working in kashmir who are also facing the threat and we have to unitedly fight Sunil this Sunil this Sunil uh, Sunil terrorism just, uh, if okay, we don't okay. remain Sunil united Sunil we just give me give just give me a minute we have a reaction coming in uh, from kavinder gupta let's uh, quickly listen in uh, to that dekhiye lagbhag pichle 2 saalon mein jis prakar se सुरक्षा बलों ने सरकार ने मेहनत की है शांति व्यवस्था वहां पर स्थापित हुई थी ठीक है कि कुछ दिनों से जिस प्रकार से हालात बने हैं एक नए तरीके से उन्होंने अपनी स्ट्रेटजी बनाई है हालांकि कल एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ने यह भी कहा कि इन सभी लोगों को सेफ जगह पर ले जाया जाए सरकार को पता है क्या करना है किस प्रकार से हालात का सामना Yes, Mr. Sunil Sethi, you can please go ahead and make your point. But I don't know how many people really want to believe in the assurances that are coming in from any political class or any political leaders today in Jammu and Kashmir, given the situation. And these are some startling numbers. These are some startling numbers coming in from Jammu and Kashmir. And I think today everyone sitting on the panel will agree. Mr. Sethi. Yes. i understand and that is the reason i said at the very beginning that it is a time to take the hard decisions the government of india will be taking the hard decision i am very pretty sure about that that in coming 2 3 days a strategy will be there at the place and more hard decision will be taken because we cannot we cannot now leave this pattern this battle is at the Sorry, finishing Mr. line Sunil we have Sethi. to finish like is see there whatever any what has happened after that article the kashmiri pandits are going to be relocated back to jammu the is there gone. any we assurance of that nature i only want to ask you this because this is their only demand is there any assurance that they will be relocated back in jammu no no we see we cannot have another 1990 happening here we have to remain in kashmir valley so far as their safety and security is concerned this that is concerned of the administration that should be provided we will also be talking to the administration we are also asking the administration to provide all kind of safety and security measures whatever is required to the persons who are serving in kashmir valley but there is no question of running away we cannot have 1990 again Okay, all right. That's all. Mr. Rakesh Handu. Let me bring you in again before I go back to Mr. Samir Bhat. That, that that's also a way to look at it. That and you know that's exactly what I, why I've been saying that Jammu and Kashmir has come a long way. While it may be very easy for us sitting in the national capital to probably have this discussion, it must be must it must be much much more difficult for our panelists joining us from Jammu and Kashmir. But Mr. Rakesh Handu, do you agree that a relocation of this nature could probably uh, ruin all the efforts that have been put into place to develop a Jammu? Jammu and Kashmir and bring it where it is today. Uh, Madam, as I earlier said, 
कि कश्मीरी पंडित इज नॉट ए रेड कश्मीरी पंडित इज नॉट ए गोट कि यू हैव टू टेस्ट एवरीथिंग ऑन ए कश्मीरी पंडित वो हैव ऑलरेडी सफर्ड फॉर लास्ट 32 इयर्स वो हैव नॉट यू नो रन अवे फ्रॉम कश्मीर आउट ऑफ आवर विश और विल और फॉर एम्प्लॉयमेंट पर्पस द बेसिक रीजन इज दिस गवर्नमेंट कुड नॉट प्रोवाइड देम शेल्टर मैडम व्हेन राजनाथ सिंह जी वाज होम मिनिस्टर ऑफ दिस कंट्री यू कैन गूगल इट He wrote a letter to then Chief Minister of Jammu and Kashmir, that was Omar Abdullah, ki to identify a piece of land where Kashmiri pandas can be rehabilitated at one place. They could not give accommodation to 5,000 pandas. They gave accommodation to only 1,200 Kashmiri pandas, and in one room, five families are sitting. You tell your Yawar, Mr. Yawar, who is a reporter from Kashmir, to visit all those transit camps and understand the position. 4,500 people are earning. 25000 rupees i have lot of people known to me who left mnc jobs and they became because of nationalist who have given our blood for the country because of nationalist they went back after leaving multinational jobs and they are working there for 20000 rupees salary yesterday i was talking to one of them he is telling me after the death after the killing of rahul bhat mm. the same government went to with 5 lakh rupees as a compensation and fourth class job for her uh, Uh, you know uh, why okay all Then right mr sethi answer to this question okay may uh, let me bring in uh, mr samir bhat of the national conference so mr samir bhat there's also a statement that has come uh, come in from your party right now where you have again said that we condemn the uh, the targeted uh, civilian killings that have been going on in kashmir and have raised your concern but do you agree today and you began by saying that today, today is not about politics but do you can you can we look at a situation it looks unlikely but i again want to ask you can we look at a situation where the bjp the pdp and the national conference can actually come together keep all the politics aside and actually work towards ensuring that you can give some sense of surety or assurance to the uh, to the agitating kashmiri pandit community agreed agreed aditi uh, i have already before i told her we without collective efforts from the all the political mainstream parties nothing can happen like bjp always blame regional parties and rohit hondu well said please 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 don't play politics in the name of kashmiri pandits always kashmiri pandits became the scapegoat but hasn't goat. that happened all the time and hasn't that happened all the time mr samir bhat why you're talking about the bjp but hasn't the national conference and the pdp done exactly the same National Conference did always try to uh, back uh, these Kashmiri pundits, but uh, we tried a lot. And uh, uh, PM package uh, is started almost from 2014 onwards. Before that, uh, Kashmiri pundits came to Kashmir Valley. Many of Kashmiri pundits who live their own houses, they are not living in, the, in these transit camps. That's because of National Conference. That's not because of any other political. Okay, we seem to have lost that line with Mr. Samir Bhar. But viewers, today while we're talking about who needs to be blamed, who does not need to be blamed, it is a collective responsibility for everyone. Whether it is the BJP, whether it is the central government, whether it is the national conference or the PDP. Um, uh, Mr. Samir Bhar is back. Mr. Samir Bhar, I'm running out of time, so I would just request you to quickly please finish your point. We lost you there. It's it's simple. We have to collectively come on the front, and we all. in kashmiri especially kashmiri who are living in the kashmir because we all are in this time in a high tense somebody is sitting in outside from kashmir and uh, he or he can say anything uh, this 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 and that colony but we are in a fear because we need the safety we need the security of our kashmiri pandit brothers kashmiri uh, pandits who are living outside we want to come we want them to welcome back but in a good situation not like that not because of they are going to be targeted so it's uh, vivek agni hoti what they made a film from 32 years what is happening and it's same what i feel this time I am I'm, I'm, I'm speechless this time I can't say anything because Well we I'm hope we really, I can only days. say Mrs Samir but I really hope that the PDP the BJP and the um, uh, and the national conference can actually leave all the politics aside because it's also a fact that it is a haunted history and a tainted history of Jammu and Kashmir which is biting um, the Kashmiri pundits again today after the 32 years of misery and the sufferings that they had to go uh, through today again this particular community is uh, suffering and it's 
it's not only the Kashmiri Pandit community, the minorities in Jammu and Kashmir, even if it is the uh, Kashmiri Muslims who are being targeted by terrorists, there is something, something terribly and drastically wrong in what is happening in Jammu and Kashmir. Tomorrow, there's a very important meeting that has been called in by Home Minister Amit Shah in the presence of Lieutenant Governor uh, Manoj Sinha. We are really hoping that some solution or some plan is chalked out in that particular meeting because situation continues to remain as tense as it gets in Jammu and Kashmir. Mr. Sunil Sethi, Samir Bhat, Rakesh Handu and Sajid Yusuf Shah, thank you very much for joining in. But before we take a short break, I'm going to leave you with some of the voices of the Kashmiri Pandits in Jammu and Kashmir. I'll see you on the other side. जो यहाँ पे इनस्ट किलिंग हो रही है कल परसों पंडित टीचर मारी गई और इससे पहले भी एरिडा साहब गवर्नमेंट एम्प्लॉय थे उसको भी मारा गया हम यही चाहते हैं कि हम गवर्नमेंट से अनुरोध करते हैं कि ये सब को बंद होना चाहिए वो कश्मीरी हो या पंडित हो यहाँ की जो पब्लिक है इससे परेशान हो रही है हमने अनुरोध ये चाहते हैं कि वो बंद होना चाहिए पिछले चार दिनों से चार पिछले महीने में यह चौथी किलिंग है कश्मीरी पंडित की एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ने कुछ किया कुछ नहीं किया खोखरे वादे किए और कुछ नहीं अब तुम मजबूर हो गए जब जब जान है भाई जान है तो जान है जब उनको जान ही नहीं सेफ है तो उनको क्या करना है उनको अब कोई भरोसा नहीं है एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन पे एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन ने तीन तीन महीने से उनको नचाया गरा बोलते सिक्योरिटी देंगे गरा बोलते हम रिलोकेट करेंगे प्रधानमंत्री जी ने भारत को पांच ट्रिलियन डॉलर इकोनॉमी बनाने का विशाल लक्ष्य रखा है और उसे साकार करने के लिए मुख्यमंत्री योगी जी ने उत्तर प्रदेश को एक ट्रिलियन डॉलर इकोनॉमी बनाने का लक्ष्य रखा है तभी तो यूपी इन्वेस्टर्स समिट 2018 ले आया 4.68 लाख करोड़ के निवेश प्रस्ताव और उसके बाद उनको जमीन आरोप उतारा भी